Hello agents and welcome back to another division build video. I've got something really special to show you today. It's going to be an Umbra build, but not quite running the way you would expect. Big thanks to Q who is part of my community on Twitch. He started putting this together and showed me and it just seems really, really good. And it actually feels like Umbra kind of should be run this way. Not with the all reds that most people are running, like a full DPS set. It actually lends itself to skills really, really well. But just before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Even better, come on over to Twitch and hit follow. I could be streaming live right now. And if you need a community Discord, there's never been a better time to join. You'll find the link down below in the description and with all that said let me show you the build so i'll put some gameplay footage at the end as well i'll just, i'll take it over to lincoln uh, but i ran it in the raid uh, live on twitch the other day it was no problem whatsoever uh, countdown can be a little bit tricky because hunters don't like skills but that's just the same with any any skill build uh, but we'll uh what we'll do let's just just so everyone is clear we'll uh, we'll hump this range here Onto heroic. It's not really about damage numbers. I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. And you can choose your skills as well. I've gone with the lowest cooldown skills and the ones that are out the longest just because uh, it makes perfect sense for this. So you're going to get some skills out and you're going to go in cover and you can just going to shoot away at them and all this nice stuff as well. We've got the mechanical animal on and I'll go through that in a minute uh, because this way then we can overcharge and do some do some extra damage switch to the capacitor why overcharged build up the stacks and just start doing all kinds of insane damage and the enemies get super distracted and they don't really want to fight you they're too bothered in you know fighting your skills that are just absolutely all over the place we're going to pop out to cover and then we get our umbra buff and our dps is really quite high at the same time as well as the skills you know, and obviously hop in for cover for some some healing and uh, you know just some normal DPS. You know, you're not really losing out on any DPS at any given point because when you're in cover, your skills are doing work, and when you're out of cover, you're doing the work and the skills are doing the work. And it it's just brilliant. It's just really really nice. So let me show you the build. Here it is. So as you can see. Uh, it actually contains six yellows, which is why the mechanical animal allows us to overcharge. We get one up here at the top with our specialization. We get one here uh, with the memento backpack. And then obviously we get one, two, three on our brand set here. And then we get one down here with the holster. So it gives us six. But then technically as well, what you've got to think about is... I've actually got three reds as well. So I've got the one red here, I've got the one red here, and I've got 15% weapon damage here on the holster. So that's six yellows, three reds, and one blue. Uh, it's really, really nice. And as you can see here, I'm at 59% crit chance. I'm at crit chance cap pretty much. I've got 121% crit damage still, and still 75% headshot damage, 12% armor damage, and 10% health damage. I've got a lot of great stats, yet I am on a tier 6 skill build. So let's run through it. We'll start with the capacitor. We'll go through this one pretty quick because everyone knows what this is by now. But shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage. And after 5 seconds, the stacks will decay 1 per second. But then for every yellow skill tier, we gain 7.5% weapon damage. Which just makes this even crazier. Then with the mechanical animal, this has assault rifle, health damage and damage target or cover. Really, really good roll. And as you can see here, it gets future perfection. Weapon kills grant plus one skill tier for 19 seconds and it'll stack up to three times. Weapon kills at skill tier six grant overcharge for 15 seconds. And that is what I was after. Just to poke out some extra damage because you can swap back to the capacitor and not lose that effect. The Memento was just really, really good here. I was thinking about running to Brazos, uh, but the fact that this gives us weapon damage, armor, and the skill tier, uh, some crit chance, 
and then obviously a bunch of skill efficiency and some weapon damage as well. Uh, it was just too, it's just too good, even when you're not running solo, even when you're running in a group, it's just too much to, to pass up. This just offers so much to this build. Normally this is much better with a solo player, but it offers so much to this build. It's just really, really good. And obviously you drop the little tokens and you get your buffs, as you can read here. I'm not going to read through that, everyone's going to be mentor by now. If not, it's there on screen, you can, you can read through it. Uh, so then we'll look at the new holder. We've got the uh, the Picaro's holster. Hopefully, we don't know if this is going to change too much yet or not, but it gives us 10% skill haste. I rolled a skill tier on it. We got some crit damage, and I've got some weapon damage there as well, which essentially acts like a, a full core attribute. And then the Umbra, which is the star of the show. You can see here on the mask, two pieces gives us critical hit chance. Three piece gives us 30% reload speed. And then... From the shadows into the light. Now we'll read that out when we get to the chest piece. Uh, so I'll just show you the holster because we're taking the talent from the chest piece. Uh, but you can see here on the mask, I've got skill tier, crit chance, crit chance. On the gloves, I have got skill tier and crit chance. The knees, skill tier and crit damage. And then on the chest piece, I've got weapon damage, crit damage, and critical hit damage again. So as you can see here, this the talent on the chest increases the max stacks for from the shadows from 50 to 100, and it increases the stack gain as well. So if we go up here and have a look at that talent, you can see while in cover, you gain 10 stacks per second, up to 50. Each stack will give you 1% critical damage increase and 0.3% RPM. And that's the into the light. And then, uh, so that's when you're in cover. Uh, the buff does not apply while shooting from cover. While agents is out of cover, agents lose two stacks per second and one at normal speed and one stack if you're sprinting. So try and keep yourself fast. Then while out of cover and in combat, gain 10 stacks per second up to 50. Each stack will give you 0.8% armor regen when it is consumed and stats consume at 10 stacks per second only in cover. And obviously then we get the from the shadows buff as well just to help us out and that is the build i chose to take the drone because it's just really good at tier six at disrupting them aggroing them doing damage and i also chose to take the turret because it can pick it up and move it along and i don't really need any skill haste for that so let's bob over to lincoln memorial and we'll show you exactly what this build runs like Secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. There! We got him! This is all in cover right now. And I've got no memento stacks whatsoever at the moment either. I'm just using the the normal base attributes on the on the memento. And this just feels like I'm running an all red build. You would really, you know, if you jumped in, you didn't look at anything. I think most people would feel like it's just running an all red build, running around. I know there are only red bars, nothing too special. But it certainly doesn't look like you're running a full yellow build. And to kill my skills though, that was a mistake. We'll build up some stacks. Wow, rude man. Obviously, we get the, the healing not only from the memento, but from Umbra as well. I get around this corner.
Nice. You know, and I'm running this obviously you know, live while I'm recording. It's a one shot video. That way then you see it actually how it is, you know. I don't want you guys to think, oh that's really, really good and it actually turns out to be poop. We'll, do, we'll go risk it, we'll go balls to the wall, we'll, we'll run straight in. Usually on a, a skill build I wouldn't, but... They're not my turret, bro. Guys escaped me on the side there. Where's he gone? There he is. He was going to that gun then. So I kept an eye out. Sneaky. Luge missed it. Nice. Really faster firing with the stacks, which is some really nice damage. You know, taste it. Skill build. Pop the chunga with my AR. Just killed him. Completed it, mate. All clear. I repeat. Just like that. So I'll leave it there. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's superb. Who would have thought Umbra as a tier 6 skill build would be so good? Turns out this gear set is super, super versatile and isn't only an all red master. Don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. I really appreciate it if you come over and say hi on Twitch as well. And let me know what you've been doing with your Umbra in the comment section. Thank you for watching agents. Goodbye.